Hello folks and welcome. MX Linux 23, fairly uh, new installment here of the KDE Plasma 527.5. It's using a 6.1 series kernel and you can probably see my hardware in the lower section there. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about a little bit about themes, um, how to view your panel in a different way, the icons in the main menu and uh, just generally talking about troubleshooting also if you install a global theme and uh, it doesn't uh, perform well or you just want to get rid of it and if you'd like to know where some of those uh, files are located on your hard drive so if any of that stuff interests you then continue watching this is generally talking about uh, installing theme for well fairly new users but also for users who want to know where those files are located and then how to actually recover from a bad install of a global theme and uh, return the system back to, uh, well, default, uh, really without reinstalling the whole thing. So in either case, folks, I will say welcome. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. This would look really good in 4K, but I thought I'd spare you the even smaller icons. So again, uh, 1920 by 1080, you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. I'm going to use Alt and F4 and close this box. So the mouse cursor that I'm using is called Radioactive. Um, I actually manually installed that. But some of your global themes also install mouse cursors or mouse pointers, also wallpapers. They also make changes sometimes to menus. I'll open up the uh, power key for a second. So sometimes it'll change the shutdown time because this will auto shut down in X amount of seconds. All right. In either case, sometimes it's best practice when you change themes and mouse cursors is to log out of your system and log back in, if not a restart. All right. So I'm going to also talk about changing the way you view this menu. You can see that these icons are slightly different from the standard icons. Okay, so I will go to the home screen for a second. Hopefully you've seen some of my videos and you're a subscriber. Again, I would encourage that you subscribe. Um, but these are called candy icons. Not everybody's cup of tea. But they're nicely brightly colored. I'll show you some different ones. Uh, one of the reasons I like to use this mouse pointer or mouse cursor is it has this feature where I'm going to point to the top of the window or the box. So that arrow is pointing to a line, and that line represents the top of the window. So if you're going to do this next trick, make sure your pointer tip is below that line. I'm going to double click with my computer mouse. I'm using a standard USB-based computer mouse with a scroll wheel on it. That's why I'm able to scroll with this using a keyboard command. Again, I encourage that you watch some of my videos for stuff like this. All right, with that said, I'm going to come back to the file manager because I'm going to talk about some hidden files and folders where some of this is located, like these cursors, mouse pointers, and also some of these theme files. So we have the um, settings appearance. Let's talk about global themes. I'm going to uh, go with this aspect that um, this is for every user. In other words, you install themes and sometimes they don't go right and you need to reset. So let's first talk about what's installed. Well, the Breeze, the Breeze Dark, the Breeze Light, uh, Twilight, sorry, MX and MS Dark. So I added some of this stuff. Okay, just wanted to point that out. And I'm currently using this sweet theme with these uh, funny looking icons. Even that is funny. That's a Firefox web browser. Okay, and hopefully you've seen my videos on the web browser, how to resize the innards on this. I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close that window. So we have application styles and we have plasma styles and it currently has a sweet theme also. We have colors we can mix and match. This also has a sweet theme. Window decorations and this also has a sweet dark theme here. And then some of these themes install also mouse cursors or mouse pointers. I'm sorry, I'm in the icons. I'm, that's the next category. I apologize. All right, these are called candy icons. That's what these are right here. Okay, so some of these themes, again, install that section and then also cursors. 
I added this one manually, that's why it's got a trash can. This one does not, it's blacked out. These are installed in USR share icons. Not a big deal, there are several of these like that. But anytime you install a theme, a lot of them get installed in here. So the suite cursors got installed automatically when I added a global theme. I added, I added the Pokemon thing and the radioactive manually. These are also uh, another theme that added a cursor theme in here. This one's grayed out. That means it's installed in USR share icons. And anytime you pick a cursor, hit apply. Don't forget to check the size. Go over to here. Log out of your system at a bare minimum, if not a restart. By the way, when you change themes, also be aware that sometimes these change. The timer. Another change that it will occur too when you change themes is the workspace behavior. You may have selected the double click and then if you're switching themes, it may circle back and go to single click. I prefer this one myself and I'm gonna hit apply. All right, with that said, these are themes and I'll talk about troubleshooting in a minute because I'm gonna reset this whole thing back to default. All right, let's talk about this menu here. This is currently how this is set up. I, you know, I, I ha, I'm using the candy icons just as the reference, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make some changes. So first of all, you probably have seen some of my video how to make this uh, panel higher. So it's right click edit mode and then make your adjustments there. Some of your icons will be disproportional when you do that. Just as an FYI, I'm gonna close that box and then I'm gonna right click on this one and show alternatives. Click right click on the MX show alternatives. So I'm going to show you the differences. So um, this one here got added in from a theme. So I will click that and do a switch. So now that is a little bit different, isn't it? And it's got a search feature. So if I'm looking for a calculator, okay. So um, calculator, okay, KCalc. All right, right click, show alternatives. Oh, I probably should walk through this whole menu. So let me hit cancel. So anyways, you have some favorites in here too. And you've got subcategories in this area. Okay. So I'll close that. Right click on that icon. Show alternatives. Switch back to this one. You got that menu there. Show alternatives. Application launcher. Switch. You got that one. You can also resize some of these, just like an XFCE. Right click, show alternatives, application dashboard, switch. That's what that one looks like. Also got the search up at the top. Don't forget, K Runner is still running. So if I type in Cal, it's still guessing. Okay, now right click, show alternatives. Andromeda Launcher looks like this. Okay, so I have a scroll bar in here. I have all apps this way. Icons are a little small in this one. Power buttons over here. The user for today is MX23New. That's just a made up name. So I don't know what you prefer, but I have choices now. Again, also with themes. So, um, I'll pick that one for right now and let's see. That one doesn't look too bad. So again, I can resize that one. Got the hibernate, the sleep thing, and you know, the leave and shut down. And one more time, when you're changing themes, also be aware that some of this changes. All right, so let's go pick a theme and uh, something you may want to think about when you're changing stuff. So if you see two dialog boxes like that, sometimes you want to be aware of what it's going to change. Okay, and sometimes you get undesirable effects. So uh, I'm going to click on this thing and on some themes it'll actually take this and make a different um, panel out of it. Sometimes it'll throw the panel on the top and sometimes people have a difficult time recovering. So the next step I'm going to show you is recovery going back to a, one of these uh, default themes. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this on purpose. I normally just leave that off. As you can see, my screen blacked out and then uh, it's actually done. 
So the bar is at the top. Okay, it looks like that. So um, the first inkling that a lot of people have is, oh, I'll just go to system settings and I'll go back over here and I'll switch that back to the previous theme and it's going to fix it. It does not. Okay, so we're still dealing with something that is messed up. So in your search field, or you can use KRunner, just type in TWE. What you're looking for is MX Tweak. Just open that tool up. Again, this is uh, MX23, so this box will be slightly different from your previous version. And hit Reset KDE Plasma Defaults and hit Apply and just wait. It all depends on the speed of your computer. It will put that panel at the bottom when it gets done with the default icons. So essentially, I'm back to default. Some of these may have remnants of old icons like these, but that's okay. As soon as you do a reboot, they'll change over but or, or log in and out, log out. But you can see that my theme are basically back, back to default, everything, including this submenu. So I'm going to go over to here, and then I am going to um, do the same thing. Click the suite, but only this one this time, and hit apply. I should be back to where I started when I film, minus the mouse cursor. It's switching because I've been altering themes. One more time with that. Recommend logging out, if not a restart. So 28 seconds on that one. All right, so candy icons. Let's try story. So on this one, I just to get this option here. So choose what to apply. You can also see that they're all selected, and I'm going to hit apply here kind of a greenish looking tint file manager looks like that and I have an extra icon so mouse pointer is still mixed because I haven't logged in and out of my system but I have an extra icon here so it's like an info thing okay let's look at the menu do I still have alternatives yes you do so but I'm going to show you the shutdown it's 10 seconds I just wanted you to be aware and then I'll do alternatives. So I have um, the, um, let's try the application dashboard and see what that one looks like. It's still nice and bright colored. Icons are slightly different as you noticed, at least from the suite theme. Okay. I have the primary shutdown, restart and logout. I can also type and don't forget you also have KRunner. So you can just start typing away as soon as you close this box. Um, the other one here, I also have the same thing. I'm just going to leave all the defaults and hit apply. And it's kind of a greenish looking theme. Um, again, you know, some of these themes that are not everybody's cup of tea. This one also has an icon here. Info icon. Not all of the themes have this one. Let's take a look at the timer on this one. That one has 10 seconds. So again, just be aware of that when you're altering themes. All right, so um, I, okay, I'm going to try this one here. Let's see what that one looks like. It's kind of a bluish with uh, kind of a greenish looking icons. I'll make this tiny and big. I should have been doing that the whole time. I apologize. And um, and I think I was using that one. Let's try the Ambar Blue. I'm not going to click that one because I, I don't want the panel moved. So if I do want that moved, then I would do that. But I don't. So uh, this is also looks like, um, yes, these are candy icons, I believe. I can fi uh, figure this out in a second here whatever is highlighted yep it's candy icons so um, the menus look like that currently hit the escape key so I'm going to right click show alternatives I'll go with that launcher there okay and again different menus so I can also do that all right switching to something different um, application menu switch. Okay, 
So we have lots of choices. So I'm going to switch over to the suite one more time. What if you want to get rid of these things? So you can go to get new global, go to everything and show only installed. So that would mean it just lists those. So I have the Atrium Dark, the Sweet KDE, the um, Story, the Groovebox, Grubbox, and uh, you can do your own install. And a lot of times it leaves remnants of files. The other thing when you install these themes successfully, not without errors, they do also in addition, like I said, install cursors like the Sweet here and the Peach Dark and Dracula also. That was a theme that I actually deleted. So I'm going to hit discard. You don't see anything that refers to Dracula in here because that's a leftover from another theme I deleted. In addition to that, you also have wallpapers. I will uh, enlarge the screen here just to let you see. Here's KDE Story. There's a wallpaper there and some of the other wallpapers that I got installed with the other themes. Okay, like here's the sweet theme, for instance. And uh, Dracula, Dracula. The theme has been uninstalled, but the, it left the wallpapers. So where are these things? I'm gonna do a discard. So let me open up the file manager. And hopefully you've seen some of my videos on this. Again, I'm gonna resize icons on the fly. So a very common command with modern Linux file managers is control H to show hidden files and directories or another name for that is folders. So you can click that or you can use the keyboard equivalent control H. So control H it is. Everything with a dot in front of it is a hidden something. So hidden folders and files. So the dot icons folder actually is generated if you install any themes or mouse cursor manually, or sorry, not manually, through the system. If you install through the appearance a global theme like Suite, it will install a cursor theme. And more importantly, if this folder is missing, it will auto generate this folder. I normally create it myself. Right click, create new. Every Linux distribution that you have personal mouse cursors installed or pointers, you should be putting them in dot icons or USR share icons. So let me open up this settings for a second to let you see this first and then I'll talk about another hidden folder that has themes in it. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna to go to appearance and go to cursors. As I pointed out when I started this video, this has a trash can on it, remove theme. This one is grayed out. This one's grayed out. And so are a lot of these things, like oxygen yellow, for instance. So where are they stored? I'm gonna hit discard. I'm gonna to go to the root MX drive and I'm going to open up USR. Some of you folks know this, but on my previous channel, I used to show this quite often. Share, and I'm gonna look for the icons folder. I don't mean to open that because I must have single click with all these themes. I apologize and let me turn that back off. This is what I was talking about when you're switching themes. All right, so in either case, um, this allows me to type in an I and it's, I'm looking for this folder right here. All right, you remember what I said about oxygen yellow? That's this mouse cursor right here. That is this one right here. So that folder, this is where that cursor is coming from. All right, with that said, I'm gonna do another discard. So USR share icons, what's special about this folder? What's special about this folder is it's owned by root. You have to have root permissions to add or remove anything out of this folder. So if you don't have root permissions, you're not adding or even deleting anything in here. So hence your system wide cursors come from here. There's other stuff in there, but your regular mouse pointers cursors come from here. I used to teach how to add those in here. For my new channel, I've been advocating that you install them here. Because when you go through the system this way, this way, and add a new cursor, first of all, it goes and checks to see if this folder is here. 
If the folder is not here, it generates it. Then it adds the theme. So you can see the suite, the Dracula cursor is a leftover, and then pair. And then I added Pokemon and Radioactive from my spare hard drive. That's called demo. I literally uncompressed the files and threw them in here. I have videos on my YouTube site to show you how to do that. I even point to the website, which is a link on my about section. It's gnome-look. Most of the Linux distros get their stuff from databases like that. Moving along. Let's talk about another folder. It's called .local. Again, control H. .local is not there, so it is now. So again, get used to that control H to find your hidden stuff. I'm not advocating you need to do this. I'm just showing you where they are. So I'm going to go to dot local share. And I'm going to talk about three folders. The first one is icons. You may recognize candy icons and Grubbox. Okay, and then maybe even Brazen, etc. We also have uh, another folder called Plasma. That one has desktop themes, and these may look familiar to you. Here's Dracula, it's a leftover. KDE Story, Sweet and Sweet Ambar. Backing this up, look and feel. These are the themes that are currently installed. So let me let you look at that for a second. So I added this one, this one, this one, and this one. So five themes are, are I added, and these five were installed by the system. So one, two, three, four, five. Look and feel. Last folder is called the wallpaper right here. Wallpapers. Here's the sweet wallpapers. One is an SVG. Most of these are PNGs. So these are fairly small images. That one's 1920 by 1080, for instance. Some of these won't be marked. So this is the Dracula leftover wallpapers. Some of these, again, um, are large, and you may want to think about getting rid of them, possibly, if you're not going to use that theme ever again. And uh, then you can see the KDE story wallpaper here and some other stuff. Some stuff gets just dumped in here, and some things go into a folder. See, like the sweet wallpapers at least went into a folder, and they're all together. Now I'm going to show you another trick. So now I let you know that it's in dot .local, all of those folders. And then your mouse cursors or pointers are all in here. Whether you put them in manually or whether you have the system install them, they're all going to be in dot .icons. And keep in mind, only the ones with the trash can symbols lit up are the ones that you can uninstall if you're doing this manually. I can uninstall that, but not that, because this one is where? USR share icons. This one's in dot icons, hence the trash can. I don't have permission to delete that. Okay, so I am going to close this and discard and right click on my screen and look at the wallpapers. Okay, hopefully this is large enough for you. So we saw the theme that said story on it. We also saw in here that a whole bunch of these had the word sweet in it because I'm using the sweet theme. And the reason this is no longer yellow is because I've been alternating a lot of these mouse themes, uh, sorry, the global themes, and I still haven't logged out of the system because I didn't want to stop filming. But more importantly, I'll switch to this for a second. This has a trash can. This also has open containing folder. All of these do. If I click that, it goes directly to home.local share wallpapers and sweet wallpapers in this case. It even lights it up. So if I were to add an image and uh, I will go and pick something first out of my regular file manager for pictures. And hopefully you've seen my videos on how to, again, resize icons on the fly. So um, I will add this as a desktop, add, to, add as wallpaper, set as wallpaper, okay? So that actually gets put in at the top here somewhere if I close the screen and reopen it. I'm going to do a discard 
and reopen that. So you can see that right there. So I can actually click that. See, the file manager is not open. It's just simple screen recorder recording the video. The file manager is closed. So I'm going to open that up and it goes directly into my pictures folder and lights this thing up. Okay, you can do that to any wallpaper in here. So you can even go here. Where is that located in? It's in U USR share backgrounds. Now you can see the backgrounds that are in that folder. But more importantly, the ones that came with the themes, um, I think there was a couple more. Again, the Dracula one, I, it, that's a theme that was already deleted, but it left those in there. So if I was really concerned, I'd, go, I'd just go in there and delete them manually. But since they're wallpapers, I'm just going to leave them. But here's the story one. All right, so that just lights that up. That was not in a subfolder or directory. So these are in directories. The Dracula ones are in, in the directory. These are just left in there. Again, I'm in home.local share wallpapers. All right, so I'm going to do a recap here, folks. So discard. And uh, let's actually go back to the default uh, wallpaper here. So we'll do that and hit apply and be done with this. So again, if I wanted to reset the theme itself, I would do what? I would I can use K Runner to do this. T W E. Look for MX tweak. Reset and apply. It goes back to the default wallpaper. If you are selecting themes, you installed something through Global, and you're picking a theme like this, and you have two selection boxes, think twice before you click that. There might be a reason why you want to do it, but just be aware that it's going to move your panel in most cases, sometimes to the top. Sometimes it'll give you a dock. And then again, how do you recover from that? You use the tweak tool. All right, so that's one thing. Can you mix and match? Absolutely. Is it a good idea to take screenshots? I think so. I'm going to type in SCR. And what I'm looking for is spectacle. I know it's this weird uh, way of searching for things. I, I could have wrote out screen, but anyways, this is a screenshot tool. It's called spectacle. Full screen just takes a picture of the box and the wallpaper and the panel. If you do the um, active window, which is my favorite, it just takes a picture of this box. It's a smaller file and it never takes a picture of itself. So let me take the snapshot and let you see it. This is just a mini thumbnail of this box without the tool on top. You can see the tool is right on top of it and you can't see it and then save it. Don't want to do that? Switch themes. Still don't want to do screenshots? Go ahead and uh, do a reset and then start from scratch. That's all up to you. But again, you can mix and match or you can experiment. How does that sound? And again, not all the themes in here work. Okay. This is why that comment is in here. A lot of people overlook this thing. Not everything's perfect, folks. But I just showed you a couple of different ways you can recover and how to mix and match. And I also showed you different ways to give you alternatives for your menu. I will hit discard and I will hit cancel and say thank you for watching.